My name is Marie and I work as a consultant for protected areas. I have always been fascinated by landscapes, yet I realised early on no one seemed to agree on what they actually are. So what do we mean by landscape? This is my landscape, the one I call home, that I identify with and the one I care about most. And here is briefly what I think it is made of. It is an important question because the way we perceive landscapes is intimately linked to how we manage these special places. And with this study, I wanted to uncover what lies behind landscape perceptions amongst protected area staff. I was lucky enough to visit these six wonderful areas to conduct my study. I selected them for their diversity in terms of landscapes, but also in terms of governance and culture. Dorset area of outstanding natural beauty in England and the district of Hereford in Germany are also included in this study, although I didn't get to visit them in person. I interviewed 19 people and got 44 answers to my online survey. This forms an informative sample of what protected area staff think landscapes are about and how to manage them. I intended to create a standard framework to enable landscape approaches to be implemented locally, but I realised I was missing the point. What was important was how diverse the answers were. After all, there are as many landscapes as there are people. This is how I developed the idea of creating a methodology to enable conversations around landscapes within protected area teams and with their partners in order to help them tackle the challenges they face. This methodology is based on carefully crafted interview questions that allowed me to draw what I called individual landscape perception models. The interviews helped me understand the various elements that make up these perceptions and I used the models to represent and compare each person's perceptions around landscapes and their management. For each person I interviewed, I created an individual model following this method of what, where, why and how. Here are a few examples. I will now work on refining and strengthening this methodology to make it available to many more protected areas in Europe. You can find out more in the full study report available on the Europark website. For more information on the methodology I developed, do not hesitate to contact me.